fuck is this? Okay, the blood was actually tomato juice, and the skulls were Mexican candy skulls. Damn it, eBay! Hello, everyone. We are the Legend Hunters. Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. In the last episode, Sakura was ousted as the traitor. We're worried about her, and we need, we need to go to the dining hall. Group meeting. How do we kill Sakura? Wait. Uh, I mean, how do we deal with Sakura? Uh-oh. Kyoko, good morning. Ouch. Wow. It's not just... Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Well, if nothing else, I need to go patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Well, she's now trusted you enough to care about not caring about you. So I'd say you've made a lot of progress to, to compare to day one. Yeah. Oh, Makoto, are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so we were worried about you. <laughs> what a dullard. Kyoko, Ko Toko, Byakuya, what the fuck are you doing here? You're They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The Master... Are you talking about Sakura? <sighs> That's when I finally noticed that the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Where, Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is, if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? Why, why do you hate her so much? Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's, that's a stupid reason. What did you say? Stupid. This is a life or death game, is it not? It's terrible. It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? What the heck? They, they were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However. That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words, in other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the Mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? But that's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can you guys... How can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? If she really can beat the Mastermind, like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Idiot! Do you really think they... Do you really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? <laughs> it wouldn't matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the Mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakuya! In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. What the hell? You disgust me! Thank you, Hina! You're, you're a monster! To say something like that, it should have been you. You should have been the one to die! What? I should have died? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead. Try it if you dare. That's how it works around here, after all. What? You think I can't do that? Hina, calm down! That's exactly what the Mastermind wants, and exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <sighs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> that, that stupid cow! How dare she? She should die a thousand deaths! No, a million! So she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. I feel like a douche every time I see any kind of dialogue come out and I feel I have to read it. <laughs> my god! It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya. And all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning? Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. I don't have time to play with you. And I will happily elude its attempts. <sighs> So, um, you know, um, how about we, uh, eat? Or, maybe now's not a good time. 
<laughs> well, he tried. Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. Okay, there's definitely a murder going to be happening very soon. <sighs> so, what should I do today? Let's go meet Sakura. You want to meet with Sakura? Or Hina, or anyone who is not currently making me want to punch them in the face. You don't want to talk to Byakuya? Do you want to talk to Byakuya? Uh, I don't want to talk to Toko either. So... Where, wait a minute, where's Sakura? There's Hina, she's in the music room. Office... Chem lab. Oh dear. Should we talk to... You want to talk to Sakura? Yeah, we haven't actually talked to Sakura. Have we? No, we never have once. So, for you, Legend, I will talk to her. I'm Make sorry. it sound like you're taking a major risk. I'm not sure I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right opportunity. Let's, yeah, let's do it. I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, you still stand by me. You still don't understand. I still don't understand you, Makoto. <clears throat> Without saying a word, I stood by Sakura. Sure! Do we have dumbbells so she can hit us over the head for standing there? Fair chips, cup of noodles. Oh my gosh, we had ramen! For Hina! Oh my gosh! Ration, sunflower seeds. I think we've got something for Sakura. Fresh bindings. In other words, the Sarashi. Let's give her these. You really want to give me something so splendid? You know, I'm not quite sure why, but somehow you remind me of him. I'm sorry. Sorry, forget I said that. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> anyway, I feel a little better now. Thank you. Seeing Sakura so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. To not be a pancake! By the way, she was mentioning his boyfriend. Her boyfriend. I'm sure. Still plenty of time? Okay, well, we spent time with her. Fuck it! Let's spend some time with the douche waffle. No! 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 Are we really that out of options? We really are that out of options. There's still Hina to talk to! I'm not even going to let you voice him. I'm just going to spend some time. We're just going to get through this. I hope you appreciate this. You're too late, sir. Let's see. You're a little closer. No. No! What is wrong with you? We don't need to reward his behavior. Well, it's the only way we're ever going to get anything out of him, so... Uh, fuck. I think... We have five golden guns. I see. Now this is a fair moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. Seeing Byakuya so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. To imagine murdering him in his sleep. Listen, Makoto, I wanted to ask you something. What could Byakuya want to talk to me about? I have a bad feeling about this. Sure, what's up? You know, only a chosen few, perhaps 1% of us, are able to succeed in life. Okay, no, 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 stop. Before you continue, are you really going to be pulling that 1% Occupy Wall Street bullshit here? That was a horrible uh, protest and it amounted to fuck all. It was a literal pile of shit on a police car level of bullshit. So, anyway. Uh, I'm not even going to listen to this. Nah, 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 just barely getting by. I just don't understand. Is there any meaning to a life like that? Why are you asking me? Because you're part of the 99% of- Fuck off! I knew he was gonna insult me somehow. Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that, so I'm interested. Tell me, how does it feel to live a life without hope, without potential or ambition or dreams? Come on! I don't have- I don't have ambition or dreams! I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be as rich as you are as anything, but you have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than others? Your complaints are as old and tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation. And yet, those are the words of the 99%. That is how you find comfort in your tiny, cold little world. 
Stop saying stuff like that. Sorry, I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never be in any position to change the world. You could all disappear tomorrow and nothing would change. Your existence is of no consequence. You know what I've always looked and wondered about this? If the 1% have all the money, like that's literally just 8 people in the world, and the entire 99% of us just suddenly disappear, they're fucked. Yeah. Their money means jack shit. Yeah, pretty much. Their corporations, their their livelihoods, fuck all. Means nothing. So, so that's true or not, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it isn't true. Uh, even if you live a completely, uh, totally normal, unimportant life, you can still find happiness in that. If I can live a life like that, I'm satisfied with, with that matters. If I spend my life comparing my life to other people's, I'll never be happy. Sure, maybe you can do that. You are guaranteed to the success from the day you were born, so... Hold it! From the day I was born, you have no idea. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. What? Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what that truly means. I have gone to battle and emerged victorious. That is why I am the chosen. What are you talking about? You're spoiled, all of you. Running away into a world of self-indulgence. Battle, competition, rivalry. You run away from it. That is why the 99% want the path that they do. Such ignorance. Good God, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. After showing a surprising amount of emotion, Byakuya quickly made his exit. What the heck's gotten into him? He was acting totally normal up until up until I said something about being guaranteed success from the day he was born. Did he say that he was the only son of his family? I don't think he did. I wonder, what, wonder why that set him off. Just a lot of skill, envious influence. Give yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. What Finally, exactly does that do? Well, we'll find out during the next trial. You mean along with the other thing we got from Hero, actually. Oh gosh. We're actually picking up abilities from everyone else. Their traits to add to our own. We're like a sponge. No wonder we're. Oh. And completely average sponge. <laughs> Shut up, Monokuma. Piss off, die in a fire. No, wait, the fire death is too good for him. Alright, still haven't sailed things with Sakura, still in a terrible mood. Hope nothing happens tonight. Knock on wood. Don't knock on wood, the <laughs> mic will pick it up. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it over here. After I decline the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. We're still on this shit. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course. So and she shot back. Okay then, how about we make you a, we make you extra special? You can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I hear another annoyed side under the line. She said, "You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Have you ever heard the tale of the crab and the monkey?" Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but just but it's just a legend, hardly relevant to our greed obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still throw up, show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey think clothes are, are sweeping the fashion world, but crabs don't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is crabs have no place in today's light speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose the popular bear image. That's the Always popular. Origin image. story of Fun fact, do you know of the Godzilla monster, Destroya? No. Uh, it's an aggregate being, aggregate crustacean being. Good morning! This started microscopic and drew, grew to a giant beast. Ah. It's made of millions and millions and billions of crabs. My god, the jokes write themselves. It's a very old Toho movie, I think. Hmm. There we go to the dining hall. Let's see how the situation has deteriorated. <laughs> there it is! Huh? Is that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Oh, fuck. What shit happened now? I don't think someone's dead. Oh my god, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Look! Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Oh no. 
you okay? What happened? She she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina. Ah, uh, dude. You gotta um. be no, 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 no. She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way, she's dead. Why? What happened? Uh... Well, Toko and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling, and then they knocked the pepper off the table. Yes. And that led to a sneeze. Ew. Our giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I would be fine, but at least mine are real. Oh my goodness. I'm not listening to that. Anyway, you totally not adorable voice. Just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else, I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and it goes away silver. Who knows how long? Okay, then let's get here to the nurse's office. Come on, Hero, help me. Um, sure thing. <laughs> oh, she's doing the ambulance sound. <laughs> Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. Fantastic! <clears throat> By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Thank, thank you. You sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you might be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. So that's ear piercing shriek was you. <laughs> oh, look at Hero finally living up to his potential name. Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. So sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Well, she did almost just die, and the best thing you could do was scream like a girl. Hey, you know what the heck happened? Um. We just got into a fight and lost my temper and blew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. At first I just tried to ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... Not thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. Only a bad punch from her would land you in the hospital. Hina? Yeah. Oh yeah, I would. And given such a tiny frail that Toko is... He'd be dead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, level with you. I know someone who, uh, <laughs> she, uh, she likes to play calm, cool, oh, and collected, serious? but there was one time, one time, I heard that uh, someone was being an actual ass to her. Yeah. And she said, she basically threatened him to even dare try running because she was in track and field, and there was no way in hell he was going to outrun her. <laughs> oh, it was the best. <laughs> a dozen punches isn't really without thinking. When things got out of... Oh, wait, that's the Makoto. And then when things got out of hand, just like Jack got let loose, right? It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because, because, because she was saying all those terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, he and his eyes started to well up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over... The door to the nurse's office suddenly burst open. Yes, Sakura. And there she stood before us. Hina! Sakura! You're hurt. What happened? Oh, nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey. Makoto, Hiro, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me. It was just like Jill. It's all that Dementus murder screen's fault. Don't aggregate the trouble on you! Her! To hurt Hina. Damn you! To leave me alone but her! What is this? What is this? <laughs> okay, really, it's just a scratch. Oh, no forgiveness. I can't forgive this. <laughs> Let's all give our battle yells together. Yeah! I, I wasn't really feeling it. Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. <laughs> I don't hate you exactly. Why? <laughs> Somebody save me! Did he just pass out? Yeah. No, no. He ran screaming out of the nurse's office, but just a second later. Hey. What's going on? What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hiro's spot in the room. I gather that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just, I'm drawing a line right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Wait, Sakura! He is sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. You know, and left where 
Oh, shit. <clears throat> uh, lovely weather we're having. You want to try talking? Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, yeah I, I figured. figured. That's fine. It's fine. Huh? Mm -hmm. About that issue we discussed earlier? It doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? Words. You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You are only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> to think like that... I wouldn't have expected, I wouldn't have expected such you. arrogance from you. Oh, I think she voiced that. Oh! Oh, excuse me. Because... What? Because ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, no, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, I... I may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway... Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. Whew. Okay. Let's see. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. So... Where? Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, shall but... We well then, shall we get going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Ah, uh, Kyoko! I hurried to catch up to her. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her, and eventually we arrived. Dressing room? So there's something you, else you mentioned. Mm -hmm. That's right. It has to do with Alter Ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Huh? Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently, he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Well... Hello. Oh, um, is it just the two of you? Kyoko and Makoto? Kyoko's fingers fly across the keyboard. Is two not enough? No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it he wants to ask of us? Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed the question. What did you want to ask us? Oh, yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, why? Well, Whoa. um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I finished my work, I don't I want that. I'm going to be keeping helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. That's what Master would want, too. So, to help everyone else solve the mystery of the school, the only way I can help is if you connect me to the school's network. But, but if you did, did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you, that, and they, you'd agree, right, Kyoko? No. I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. It's for the sake of everyone else. I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed. Too, too admirable. admirable. Too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what was the difference between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. Hi. To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's, collect, let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. No, yeah. If you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? 
If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. So, um... Hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please I don't. I want... I want to believe in myself. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. So please, let me try. Listen. There's no way we could say no. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? Right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. A room without surveillance cameras. The secret room. That's it. The secret room you said before. I definitely remember there was no surveillance cameras in there. And I do believe you can connect to, you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an Ethernet port on the wall. However... However, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the Mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We also have to move Alter Ego and the Mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. That's You're right. Have to do. But, but despite all that, I still think we need to try. Right. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Yoko. In that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So, let me it's do true. it. Okay then, I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then... So let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? We started picking him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed him underneath my jacket. <laughs> it tickles. Wait, what? You can't talk right now. We're going to move you to another room. Until we get there, be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implemented. G good. <clears throat> I think I'm starting to just use the same voice over and over. Yeah. <laughs> to have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So there might be... Oh, that... So there might be a network cable in there? Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is check for ourselves. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. All right, so map plot thickens. If I recall right, it's the second floor bathroom. Second floor, boys room. Hey, hey Makoto, Why? are you sure the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. Listen to me. Just hurry up and go and make sure you don't run off. And just to make sure you don't run off, I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it, she's acting. She was so forceful, I thought I made her mad again somehow. Just a second. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go! Okay, okay, so I'm going. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Well, that's one way to distract the mastermind, I guess. Wait a minute, there are papers on the ground. Okay, first I have to find a network cable, be in this drawer if I recall right. Hmm. Found it! Network cha -ching. cable. Cha-ching! Connect Alter Ego, immediately got to work, connected to the Ethernet port, and that should do it. Um, um that's yeah, I think that's it worked. Cool. Just leave the rest to me, I swear I'll find something. Might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, I'll see if I can call for help. No. So please, just wait a little while longer. Just hold on tight and put your faith in me. I was about to leave, I decided to leave him one last thing. No matter what happens, we're going to get out of here, you and the rest of us as friends. Ah, damn it, Makoto! He's the, he's the binding thread of this group! Makoto, you just gave him the death flight. You gave him the death flight. What is wrong with you? Makoto. How'd it go? Oh, well, it went okay, but the um, documents were gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real right. feelings. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoto was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore, that much was for sure. Uh, Kyoko! Yes? Um, so we're just gonna Why split up? Of course. I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't it just a little too direct? Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. That's not what I meant. I'm just, I have more I wanted to talk to you about, like, what are you going to do about Sakura? Well, something has to be done, it's true. However. 
But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should we... If we can find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why alter ego. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. Part ways and head back to my room. <sighs> I'm kind of tired, so I laid down in bed. Maybe it was just the stress of moving alter ego, but I was way more tired than I realized. So before long at all, kerplunk, snooze, and... Someone is dead. Dong, ding dong. Huh? Sharp sound of the doorbell. Oh. Well... We'll find out what's going on in the next episode. Later, guys.